Now we're going to have a look at all sorts of bunker shots. Um, the first thing is to get yourself a really good sand iron. And I would look for a club with 60, 62 or 64 degrees. I've got 62 degrees on this. It also has a nice flat line. In other words, it sits nicely down like that. The club is really important. OK, now, the first thing I'm going to show you is just a get-me-out bunker shot. Just the sort of bunker shot that you would use round the green when the main thing is to get yourself out and onto the green. My first shot just uses a square club face. And if you've got plenty of loft on that club, that's all you need to do. You don't need to open it, turn it, do anything awkward. So let's have a look at the basic shot. Right, I'll talk you through it. Square club face, a wide stance, two inch gap between the club and the ball. I'm looking at the sand and I hit the sand forwards onto the green. So again, I'm just going to get another ball there. Just from a reasonable lie, square club face, wide stance, two inch gap between the club and the ball, look at the sand, hit the sand, forwards onto the green. Right, now let's break that down. First thing is, I've got a square club face. I'm not turning the club face open, I'm relying on the loft of that club. And you know, rarely anything that I can see out of, I can get out of, providing it's a reasonable line. So square club face, wide stance. The wide stance is important because that allows me to move forward. If you get too narrow a stance, you can't move forward. So square club face, wide stance. Now the crucial bit, the two inch gap between the club and the ball. Look at the sand. What I'm trying to do is to hit the sand forwards onto the green. And if I hit the sand forwards onto the green, the ball comes out with it. So square club face, Wide stance, two inch gap between the club and the ball, look at the sand, hit the sand, forwards onto the green. Now, the next thing is forwards, hitting the sand forwards. Right, so again, we'll break it down some more. The square club face, not opening the club, square club face. The wide stance, the wide stance allows me to move through. The two inch gap, between the club and the ball, I'm looking at the sand. I'm not hitting the ball cleanly, I'm looking at the sand. Look at the sand, look at the sand, look at the sand. Hit the sand forwards onto the green, and out comes the ball. So that's our really basic, basic bunker shot. So what if you want to actually vary the distance with your bunker shots around the green? The key thing is, first of all, to be able to hit a set distance, perhaps about 12 yards. It's going to get you out of anything without running through the other side. Once you can produce a fairly set distance, then try to vary it. The first thing is getting that set one. Right, the next thing, if we want to go a little bit further, we've got the square club face, possibly just look a little bit closer there to the ball. So this time I want to go a little bit further, perhaps 20 yards square club face, the wide stance, but now I'm only going to leave an inch gap. I'm going to still look at the sand, but I'm going to take less sand. I'm looking just behind the ball there, a little bit less sand, and that's given me a longer shot, probably of about 20 yards. Now, the other one is when you want a horribly short shot, and you look there and you've got a shot that's only about eight yards. And those are the nasty ones, and they're the ones don't be too greedy. You are much better to get on the green and have that putt back of 12 foot or so than be too silly with it. But if you want to produce a shorter shot, you've just got to cut right down on it, grip the club a little bit lower, still take that two inches of sand and just slow the whole thing down. And just slow it all down, slow it down, slow it down slow it down and just get that little bit shorter shot. But with that one be careful, be careful, still get yourself out, don't be too greedy. Right, so again, I'm going to try a really, really tiny little shot, just seven or eight yards, but that pin would be just sneakily close to the edge of the bunker. Square club face, the wide stance, I'm going to grip it really firmly, so, so slowly, right, so slow, to play that tiny little shot. But those are the risky ones, if you hit it too short, you don't get out. Now the next thing is if you are determined to play bunker shots with an open club face. 
And first of all, if you don't have enough loft on your club, if you're struggling with 54 degrees or so, you may have to open the club face. So what do we do when we open the club face? Well, basically, we add loft. So if I look at this and I say, well, this is the equivalent of a number 11 iron, and I want to turn it, and I want to add loft. That's, that's what we're actually doing. So this is a shot with an open club face. Square, I turn it open like that, then I grip it there, like the open club face, I look at the sand, look at the sand, look at the sand and hit the ball out with my open club face. Okay, now let's think about opening the club face. First of all, have one with a lot of loft, you probably don't need to. But then, in order to open the club face, you need a club with the correct lie. In other words, it's got to sit at the right angle like that. When you work through a set of clubs, you have a three iron, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pitching wedge. They gradually get more upright. Really, the sand iron should drop back down. It should be flatter. I have my sand iron, so it's set up with the lie of a seven iron. It sits quite flat. Now, that allows me to open the club face. When we play bunker shots, it's also the one shot where you actually sink into the ball. You don't rise up, you sink. So really you want a club that does sit quite flat like that. Now, to open the club face, if you have one that sits wrongly, when you open it, you'll just turn the shank towards the ball. So as you set up and open that club face, you need to have the feeling of turning it out before you grip the club. A lot of people, when they open the face, do that, and then they do this. And you can see the angle is all wrong. Now remember, the reason you have a tummy button, it may be a revelation to you, is to help you with your golf. The end of the club always points to the middle of you. So when you open the club face, you turn it like that. It then points there to the middle of you. It's not that, the angles have gone all wrong. It's there, turn that club face out, bend the knees, it points to the middle of me. Now, if I play that shot, as I open the club face, it turns away to the right. So if I just played the shot from there, this ball would pop away to the right. And what I do is I counteract that by turning slightly to the left. We talk about opening the club face. Really what I'm doing is I'm opening the face there. I know that's going to pop away to the right, so I'm now going to aim six or eight foot to the left. You see how I've turned it like that? So again, I've opened the face there, like that, points to the middle of me, and as I turn, it comes with me. There my angles are correct, but this is what you usually see. Now you can see my angles have gone horribly, horribly wrong, and really you're likely to hit that straight off the neck. So it's there, it's turning it out, it's like that. Expect the ball to pop six or eight foot away to the right. Turn yourself round. There. Now the club is still pointing to the middle of me. But the key thing also is to bend your knees. There, like that. There's my open club face. There's my increased loft. My angles are still correct and the ball will pop out on target. So let's just see what happens when we open the face. I'm going to give myself a nice lie here. And I'm going to show you a little bit more about opening the face because this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my trusty five iron and I want to play my bunker shot. I made a mistake, instead of thinking it's S for sand iron, it's actually a five there. So how do I open the face, right? There it is like that. It's no good just doing this. That doesn't do anything. I've got to increase the loft on that club. There, I've made the loft on it. Right, now what have I got to do? I've got to take my tummy button over. There, I've got to go and find the end of the golf club. Like that. Now I've found the end of the club. But it's also no good just going and pointing and coming there. I've got to get down to it, right? There's the open club face with my five iron, bending my knees. You see it pointing at the middle of, middle of me and play a dear little shot like that. I should really quit while I'm winning, but let's have another go. So again, with the five iron, we're opening the face. We're not just turning it like this. We want to make more loft. So I'm going to come round and find the end of the club. It's got to point to the middle of me, and it's got to be low enough. And I'm going to play that little cup shot with that five iron, with the open face, out onto the green. 
So that explains to you about opening the face. Now, obviously, it's not as extreme as that when you've got a sand down in your hand, but that's what it's all about. It's about keeping that angle right, pointing to you. If you lower the face there, you've got to come and match up with it.